great and that you are on top of all of your assignments. So today we're going to be talking about the comparatives and how do we use them. So before we start, we need to understand what comparatives are. And comparatives are adjectives, okay? So we use the adjectives to describe different things, people, objects, pretty much anything around us. And we use also those adjectives to compare things, okay? So that's what a comparative is. When we talk about two things that we can compare, we can say if they're the same, if they're different, or even if someone has a quality that the other doesn't have, okay? maybe um, statement, how are they different, okay? So we use the comparatives to do these descriptions. There are two ways to make the form of a comparative, and the first one is with the short adjectives that we add the ER at the end, and these uh, adjectives in most cases have one or two uh, syllables, and the other is the long adjectives, where we use the more before the adjective. Okay, we're going to see this more in depth with some examples uh, further in the presentation. Okay, let's say that we're talking about two planets, Earth and Mars, and we can compare them as we show in the table. For example, Earth, it's bigger than Mars, so it has more diameter than Mars. So we can say that Mars is smaller than the Earth. Uh, from the distance of the Sun, uh, Mars is more distance from the sun than the earth. The length of the days and hours, a day on Mars is slightly longer than a day on earth. The moons, Mars has more moons than earth. As you can see, we're comparing different characteristics of both planets, trying to see which one has more or less about something, okay? For example, let's say that we want to use the comparatives to compare one thing to a group of things, okay? So let's do it like the example. Mount Everest is higher than all of the other mountains. Here we're talking about hundreds of mountains and making sure that we state that the Mount Everest is higher than all of those mountains. So we're comparing a group of things to one thing. Here is the explanation that I was giving you in the beginning about the one and two syllables. So the easiest way to complete an adjective is by their syllable. So for example, the adjective finishes in one syllable, we add the termination ER. Tall, taller, fat, fatter, big, bigger, okay? The adjective that has two syllables, we add the termination ER or more. We can use both. But eventually one, it's more common than the other one. If you're not sure of which one of the two use, use the more before the adjective, okay? Happy, happier, simple, simpler, title, more title, tangle, more tangle. For the adjectives that have three syllables or more, we add the more before the adjective. Important, more important, expensive, more expensive. And finally, we have the irregular adjectives that actually just change the entire word, okay? So you need to be very aware of this ones. Good, better, bad, worse, little, less, okay? These are the type of adjectives that doesn't work with any of the rules that I just gave you before. I am going to leave you two videos as usual so you can go more in depth with the examples uh, of this uh, grammar that I just gave you of the comparatives. The first one, it's comparative and superlatives. It's a video that explains you how to use both with different examples. And how to use comparatives and superlatives, it's a grammar explanation of what we just saw, okay? Uh, remember that if you have any questions or comments or just want to chat with me, you can leave me a comment on the Google Classroom, you can send me a message through the Hangouts application, or you can send me an email. I really, really want to know how are you doing to catch up a little and maybe, you know, just uh, chat about how everything is going, okay? I, I am so sure that at the end of the videos, I need to say something like click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. But, you know, being a YouTuber, it's a new thing and I think I'm enjoying it. I hope you too. See you guys later. I hope you're fine. Bye.